tired of creating boring static pictures of your products? Today I've got a really fun tutorial for you so you can animate your products using Canva. This is actually a really simple animation but the result is so much fun and it can really bring your products to life and allow you to create something really creative and fun. So this can be done with digital products or physical products. All you need is pictures of your products and to choose some sort of cart. So you're going to choose either a basket or a cart even a box or a bag, whatever it is that you want to put your products into. And then you're going to create something that looks like this. Isn't that cool? So let's dive into the tutorial and see how you actually create this. All right, so I've got some elements to get us started. Let's get one more product. So you can upload your own images of your own products or if you wanted to use something that's within camera, that's fine. It depends what you're doing with this. If you're doing your own products, you probably are going to go to uploads and actually upload an image of your product. But if you are doing this for some other reason and you just want to grab some sort of elements, you can grab them within Canva. So I'm going to just grab something to show you what we do here to prepare our images. Let's say we want a product that is a cushion, for example. So let's just grab this cushion. Now it has a background on it. So it's likely you've taken a photo and you've got a background. So what we need to do now is remove the background. So we can just click on it and background remover. Now the background remover tool is a Canva Pro feature. So if you don't already have Canva Pro and you want to try it out, you can test out Canva Pro for free for 30 days. You'll find the link in the description below. So if you wanted to, you could always sign up, give this a go. And if you realize that Canva Pro is something you'd really like to continue using and creating with, then you can continue on paying and using it. Or you can just try it out just to create this and maybe even just to get cutouts of your products and keep them on a file somewhere in Canva to use again and again if you don't think you'll ever need those tools again after. There are also online tools for doing cutouts as well. So if you realize that that's just the one thing you want is to be able to do cutouts but you don't really want to upgrade for other reasons, then you can just go on Google, type in background remover and there are lots of online tools and different options. And all you'd have to do is use those tools download as a PNG and re-upload it into Canva. This is such a great tip. You really have to try it. So once we've got rid of our background, now our product is ready to go. So it's really quite easy to just set up your products and you want to start positioning them on the page. So you want to resize them, rotate them and position them to where you want them to go. Now we're going to get our cart. So let's get a basket. Um, so you can use whatever you want. We want to do this as a shopping one, so shopping basket. And again, we want to do background remover. Now with our shopping basket, with something like this, as you can see, it has a little grate. So if we do that, it sort of sits in there. Now this again depends on the look you want. So I'm going to add a background color here so you can really see what's going on. So if you want things to go in like that, that is fine. If you don't, the other option you can do is adding outline. So what we're going to do is go to edit, shadows, outline, select the color we want and change the sizing to how we want. And now I've added that white around it and it just gives it that particular look and feel. But again, that depends on what you want to create. If you want to create a feel like that, or if you don't want to feel like that, you don't need to do that. So that's just an optional step. I just want to show you how to do it if you want to do that. So now we're going to start animating our product. So do make sure you've got everything set up on the page, how you want it to start with the beginning of your animation. Now you're going to click on a product, go to animate create an animation. Now you're going to just basically move it along the path where you want it to go so that it goes into the basket. You want to slow down the speed so it's not too fast. You want to change it to smooth. Then you want to add wiggle, but just lower the intensity down low. And as you can see there, it goes into the basket. So now we're going to do this for all of them. So you go to your next one and again, the same thing and those same settings again. So you're going to go through and do this for all your products. Now we can watch that through and we've got all our products going into the basket. So that was quite a simple animation. As you can see, it doesn't take very long to do, but it really looks good in the end. It's really one of those really simple yet really effective animations. Now, of course, you can add any extra things you want to do to this if you want to extend the time. So that one was five seconds. You can just click on the time up here if you wanted to adjust that timing at all. If you wanted to add any animation to your actual basket itself, you can always click on the basket and animate if you want to make it do anything, if you want it to move at all. 
But I hope this inspired you so you give it a go and try out this animation. As you can see, this is a really fun technique and so much fun. So give it a go, try it out with your products or get creative. Think about other ways you could utilize this technique. Maybe it's with other things that's not products. It definitely can spark a lot of creative ideas and something that's really fun to create. If you want to try out more animations for your products using Canva, you can also check out my video with rotating products right here. And if you'd like to learn more about designing with Canva, about graphic design, branding and creativity, make sure you subscribe and happy creating.